but it's called How I Eat Mango. And yeah, just sort of kind of honouring a relationship to mangoes that I feel really grateful to have. <laughs> it's my favourite fruit. Um, and it makes me think about my mum. So, how I eat mango. Mum always knew how to get the most succulent fruit home. How to press her heart into each squeeze. The top and the bottom tish will tell you if it's right. Press gently tish, but press firm. Feel how soft it can be. Knowing the mango was her way of knowing home. A teaching that survived each press for independence, each press for justice, each press for liberation. We press, find the soft, if it's there, it's ours. Take back, to be held, protected in the remembered grip of 100 hands. Generations of ancestors cut in, open out, to the eaten, to the whole, to the eaten, to the whole. Ah, oh. mm, there it is. The smell of sweet, sweet mango. Remedy of rememory, I remember. Mum offers me mango flesh like a mountain offers sunrise. An honouring readies inside my young body. Anticipation of sweet nectar. Nature's sugar slides into my baby tooth smile. Mmm, I chase each chunk down to my stomach. Ignoring fibres trapped between each chip teeth. I chew and I chew, sweet summer stains drip down my mouth. This is how I know it's right to remember home. This is how I know it's remembering, it's remembering, it's remembering home. Only visited in dream visions, bones that still crack under the weight of occupied lands, last names that do not belong to us. Oh, and a fruit farm there carried her little girl laughter as she pressed up against family members, leaving one by one. There was no soft in this lie of a better life in England, and a brother whose fall from the mango tree made him run, made him run, made him run to the roughness of poverty on J.A. streets. Oh, she was alone, left with a mango and memory that grew survivals and songs into her school uniform. A blue pinafore, white socks and plaits around her head. She is young now. Too young to know what's to come, but I remember, I remember, and I chew these stories down. Independence was yesterday. Tomorrow is not yet met. Zymaka's Taino tongue buried into the seed of her African skin. And I stand there, and I remember, and I chew ancestors made her flesh like mango. To remember this land like mango. To remember how country people grew like mango. There's a brown girl in the ring. Tra la 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 la. There's a brown girl girl in the ring, tra-la-la-la-la-la, la, 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 la. there's a brown girl in the ring, tra-la-la-la-la, and she looks like a sugar in a plum, 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 to the wedge land between her nails, whose skin like hers, colour of earth, whose skin like hers, stolen, whose skin like hers, burnt, whose skin like hers, scarred by the hands of false tomorrow, and I remember, as I chew each mango piece, and I chew and I chew, the healing lives in the soil. Beneath her feet calls her soul, and I am called as she runs over unmarked graves through mango groves and gullies. There is a purple ribbon in her hair now, loosened by the chase of barefoot freedom. Oh, she grows, ripened fruit of many rooms, and she grows. She climbs to pick the fruit fresh before the fall, bit straight in, breaking skin to the seed's ancestral echo within. Ah, and I smell the memory, I remember, I remember, my mother's people knew the magic of mango. It's strong enough, the ripeness, me remember, me return, me memory sewn into the roots of my body. I speak the story out of we, for we taste it, the mango we must, we must protect, the mango we must can I speak this? The mango we must protect upon Earth's lips. Thank you.